Zimbabwe's tropical climate is hot and humid, allowing for malaria-carrying mosquitoes to thrive in some regions. Tendai lives in a small village with his wife and young family. They live in an area where mosquitoes carry the malaria parasite. Tendai's family do not sleep under mosquito nets. Instead, Tendai uses the nets for fishing. They don't take any other precautions to protect themselves against malaria. While sleeping, Tendai and his son Ariko get bitten. As the mosquito sucks their blood, parasites enter their bodies. Over the next four to 14 days, Tendai and Ariko become sick with suspected malaria. If they don't receive treatment immediately, they could get worse or even die. A delay in treatment could also mean having to pay for emergency transportation. Tendai calls a local health worker for help. And she visits his home. Majita asks questions about how they are feeling and checks for symptoms of malaria. She washes her hands and takes Tendai's temperature to test for high fever. She asks if he's sweating a lot, if he has a headache, joint pains, body weakness, and if he is vomiting or has diarrhea. Tendai is suffering from these symptoms. She takes a small blood sample. The blood test is positive, which means Tendai has malaria. Tendai is alert, eating and drinking, and not vomiting repeatedly. This means he has uncomplicated malaria. Tendai's son, Ariko, has symptoms for malaria and more. He has a very high temperature, is vomiting repeatedly, has yellow in the white of his eyes. He's very drowsy, has difficulty breathing and is unable to breastfeed. He passed very dark urine that looked like Coca-Cola, but is no longer passing urine at all. Majita does a blood test for malaria. It is positive. Ariko has danger signs for severe malaria and his life is at risk. Both Tendai and Ariko need to be treated for malaria. And Ariko needs to go to the health center immediately. <laughs> 